Let's try to wrap up 12. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, so Rika's, like, going around doing her... Th- Sorry, not Rika. Remon's going around doing her thing. And she just, like... I know I've heard of this somewhere. Uh, effing just fights a bunch of effing, like, Beemon. No, they're, there? like, Hornetmon. Yeah. Sorry, they're Hornetmon, not Beemon. Okay, I wasn't sure if we had gotten a name for the Digimon she was fighting or not. Yeah, Beemon are a different thing, but they're very similar. Like, just like in real life. Not to be confused with Fan Beemon. Yeah. Not to be confused with Wormmon. Or Stingmon. Wait, is there not... Is there not just a, a normal Beemon? Is it just Fan Beemon? I don't know. Hold on. I, I don't think Fan Beemon would be like an ultimate. I can't imagine it would be. <laughs> no, Fan Beemon's a rookie. Yeah, because, like, it, it'd have to be, right? Let's see, we got Fan Beemon. I thought there was a. I'll search it on the actual wiki. Maybe it'll come up. Beemon. No. Nah, uh, all it's bringing up is Fan Beemon. Dow fly... Beemon. No, Fly Beemon. I know Dino Beemon's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> so we have everything except for Beemon. We have Wasmon, we have Stingmon, we have Dino Beemon, Fan Beemon, Fly are Beemon. Sh- <laughs> are you sure these things are called Hornetmon? I think they're called Waspmon. No, that's not Waspmon. Waspmon is something else. Okay, they have no idea. Maybe they are Beemon, I'm not sure. Either way, they're like flying insects that sting people, and they sting Romon, and she's like, oh, Rika, do the thing, but Rika's not there, so she's like, ah, oh, crap, I guess I'll die now. Yeah. And she somehow manages to, like, fight them off and win. And it's like, holy crap, Ramon, you have been proving. Oh, those are fly Beemon. Sorry. Okay, yeah. Not to be confused with B Flymon. <laughs> <laughs> Which is just, like, a very hip Digimon that's very, like, stuck in the 90s. He do be fly, though. He do be fly, though. <laughs> Uh, stupid. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Ramon wins, and Rika's like, oh, I guess Ramon doesn't need me after all. And they just, you know, part ways a bit. Again. And we get, like, we get a bit of, like, effing, like, Infmon's backstory, seemingly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where he's looking in on a couple of kids, and it shows him flashing back to uh, a couple of kids fighting over him. Yeah, I will very specifically point out, these are not the same kids. I, okay, I I honestly didn't know. Yeah, I, like, looked at them super, well, I want to say it way it sounds creepy, but it's like, yeah, I, like, <laughs> I examined okay. the footage super closely, it's like, alright, yeah, no, these are different people. Okay, I get, I get what you're saying. But it just, it triggered, oh, it triggered Impmon's war flashbacks. No, but really though, it does seem to bug him quite a bit. Uh, in, in the, uh, in the flashback it shows the kids, uh, one of the kids broke the other's toy, and the other one just punish him, and, like, they're arguing and fighting over Impmon to be on their side, and we don't know what happened, but Impmon left, that much is certain. Uh... What else? But yeah, the the memory is clearly, uh, clearly uh, shakes Impmon. And then Renamon shows up. I'm not good at... Yeah, Imamon's got, like, kind of PTSD from this, seemingly. 
Like, he's, like, shivering at the thought of it. Yeah. I am not- I am not good at filling air by yeah, myself. So, I'm so sorry about this, but it's like, yo. I, I understand. Okay, um... <laughs> So yeah, Rimmon yeah. shows up. Rimmon shows up, and she's like, oh hey, like, how are you supposed to get stronger without partners? And then Bon's like, ah, no, figure it out. And she's like, oh, okay, so you don't know. And she just starts leaving it, and Bon's like, hey, what? No, don't look down on me, you stupid- Hey, get back here! So, specific- Mon very specifically doesn't say he doesn't know. Uh, it's obviously he- it's obvious that he's doesn't that he's lying, but Imbon's too prideful to like let anyone else know that. Yeah. He says something like, uh, uh, yeah, he, he says that something you have to figure out on your own. I can't tell you that. Clearly hiding the fact that he doesn't actually know. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's just a little punk that hates humans, and that's basically his character. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> so, Robot just sort of, like, yo, just runs off. And, like, ah, crap, what happens in this episode? I'm trying to actually, like, think back, because we have the Imon backstory. And we get, like. Yeah, it's, is that when, like. Yeah, that's when, like, Jerry shows up. And Jerry's like, oh, hey, I will meet Gilmon. <laughs> and she does, and she's like, oh, he's adorable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I yeah, love that Takao's just face palming. <laughs> he's like, oh my god, he's just gonna scare her away, and I'm never gonna see her again. And Jerry, Jerry's like, oh my god, he's adorable. <laughs> Can I boop the snoot? <laughs> yeah. And Takato, Takato's like, cute, don't you mean cool? And it's like, no. No, Takato, she means cute. Because Giamon's adorable. And she puts like a little sticker on his nose. Speaking of... You got a picture of it. Yeah, this is the most boopable snoot ever. Yeah, it is. Takato, <laughs> you, you made good design, man. It's, you have to admit, you made something that's something adorable. This horrible. This did not turn out the way you thought would come out of your head. I think it helps that he's got really small teeth. Yeah. Just kind of looking at the design, I don't think he would look quite as cute if he had like big sharp teeth. Like, if he had big sharp teeth, he'd look really stupid, actually. Uh. I mean, yeah, sharp teeth, but you know what I mean. Yeah, he's got like Thai lizard teeth because lizard. Yeah, I think I think Agumon has bigger teeth than that. Yeah, like does hmm. Yeah, I think Agumon does have some pretty big teeth, doesn't he? Yeah, his his teeth they're not much bigger, but they are bigger. Yeah, because for some like wait, does does Vimon have bigger teeth than Agumon? <laughs> You don't see Vimon's teeth very often. Like, o like only it's... when he opens his mouth. Yeah, it's it's very person-like, and that's kind of weird now that I think about it. It just it just makes any sense. Maybe it's just because like they're not the same type of. Oh no, he's got like a little fang that hangs out of his mouth. Yeah, right, it makes sense. But I believe. I don't know if Giamon and Agumon are classified as dragons, but v uh, Vimon is. Um, I don't know if there's like... Is there a distinction between dinosaurs and drag- Well, no, no, there is. I'm looking it up. I am, uh... Okay, uh, Giamon is listed as reptile. Yeah. Yeah, cause like, dragon's a specific thing, so like... Agumon is also a reptile. Yeah, so, yeah, I don't v believe Vimon's a dragon, but it can become one. Cause yeah, no, like Vimon's a dragon. Is he? So says the Digimon wiki. Alright, yeah, cause I know he doesn't become like a Draymon until like Pyhildramon. Yeah, Vimon is a dragon Digimon. Huh, okay. Uh, so you you could chalk it up. I don't know how much they thought about this for real, but you could chalk it up to design differences between species. 
Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that would explain the design differences yeah. to why why their evolutionary forms. Yeah, Saras is so awkward. I'm just trying to like you know work around those lawnmower noises. It's fine. I, I think we might be good now. Okay. Like Giamon and Agumon have similar evolution paths, and then and then uh, Vimon is like I'm gonna progressively become more weird-looking. Yeah, Vimon's evolution path is, like, effing bizarre, because he needs, like, fusions and stuff. Yeah, by the end of it. Uh, can he... Does he have a mega form that doesn't require... Uh, well, there are the Vidramon, like, Digimon. So I guess you could count that. There's, like, you know, Vidramon and, like, Aero Vidramon, like... I think there's Saber Vidramon or something, or like Ultra V Force Vidramar or something. I don't know, oh, it's like yeah. V Force Vidramar or something weird like that, where it's like it's basically a dude in armor. It's, yeah, it's Ul weird. Yeah, Ultra Force Vidramon. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's what it was. And I have no idea what that comes from, but I know it's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a thing in the card game. <laughs> initially from the data scale. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, um... Holy crap! <laughs> These gigantic... I think this is... This footage from Next... Oh, wait, no, it's not Next Order. I don't know what this is footage from, but it's gigantic! Oh my god. Well, is this from that crappy MMO? <laughs> it might be. I think it might be footage. Yeah, this is definitely footage from that yeah. crappy event, but Old Force Vigimon's gigantic. I know at some point I did play that crappy MMO. Oh no, and... boy. <laughs> and boy, that's a ride. Is it as bad as I've heard? So here's like what my experience was, right? So I start up, it's like, oh yeah, yo, get your starter, it's like effing like Agumon, Galmon, something else, you know, whatever, it's like some basic stuff, so you know. Out of one of those, like, I get, like, Agumon, I believe, or something. Yeah, I think I picked Agumon. And I first thought, I was like, okay, well, like, yo, there's a mechanic where you can, like, get data from Digimon you fight and get other Digimon as your partner instead. So, like, I want to get a Devimon, because those are just around and those are really cool. So I start grinding... And grinding, and oh my god, the data drop rate is so low, why would you do this? Oh hey, I'm almost at ultimate, and I still don't have my Devimon. Oh, oh no, I, I hate everything, and then I just uninstalled it. <laughs> and that was the experience. <laughs> Because, like, you see, what they want you to do is they want you to spend money on crap to make the grind easier so you can ah. get the cool other Digimon. As just like, no, but I just want to get it. The thing. It's, it's right, it's in training form, is right there. I've killed so many of them. <laughs> They're everywhere. I've been doing this consistently. <laughs> Oh man, it's so bad. It's oh my gosh. It's like no, just let me get the thing though. <laughs> let me play your game, damn it. Trying to find out what country Game King, which is the owners of the Digimon MMO. I'm trying to figure out where the what country they're based out of. And if it's Korea, I'm not surprised at all that it's the grindiest thing we've ever played. <laughs> <laughs> like, is it? Yeah, yeah, it can. Like, at least for that specific purpose, if nothing else. Because uh, holy crap. Okay, Hong Kong. Uh, yeah. It also, uh, like, <laughs> there was a cool system I did like where you could, like, you know, set what your tamer says when you do specific attacks. <laughs> like, when you do skills. So I set all mine to be dumb jokes, 
and like all the jokes, like, or at least a lot of them, were just being blocked for being quote unquote inappropriate, including the quote, you're gonna die clown. <laughs> like, interesting. Yeah, like, of course I wasn't like swag or anything, but it's like, oh, this is like, this is a very strict chat filter, so I guess I can't have fun with this either. <laughs> It is Digimon, you're probably expecting a younger audience. <laughs> but also, from what I've heard, it's just kind of bad game, so... Yeah. Like, it's I... On, it, it's on Steam. I don't know if that's where you played it, but it's actually on Steam. No, I got the direct download. <laughs> also, I, I do... I've, yeah. I've never touched it because I just I, all I've ever heard about it is bad things. Yeah. Go ahead. Also, I do remember looking at the forums at some point because I was like, oh, hey, is there some way to, like, you know, is this even a good idea that I'm doing? Is there anything to gain here? And the first that I saw was like, oh, anyone who doesn't pick Galgamon's an idiot because his, like, final form is top tier and it's the best thing in the game. And it's like, okay, great, noted. Everything else sucks. I hate it. Uh, yep, that's a problem. If there's one thing in the game that's better than everything else, you failed. I, I don't know much about MMO design philosophy. I've only been playing 14 for, I don't know, yeah. a couple of years at this point. Uh, so I don't, I don't know how about MMO design. But I do know that if one thing is better than literally everything else in the game, you did it wrong. Yeah. That was like one of those things where it's like, I feel like Next Order really got that like way better. Cause it's like, you know, of course like you have your mascot Digimon, you have your Agumon, your Geomon, that sort of thing. And you know those are gonna be the things people wanna play, right? Mm-hmm. So what you do is you make them, like, the stronger options that are, like, harder to get. So that people are forced to use, like, you know, the random weirdos at first until they, like, you know, get a bit better at the game and learn the ropes. And then you can have people, like, you know, switch over to your, like, Gallatmons and your, like, you know, Melgarumons and stuff. And it'll actually, like, you know, be useful then, instead of, like, you know, making them out to be, like, weak or whatever. So it's yeah. like, you know, you're forced to kind of, like, use your Goblimon stuff at first, and you work your way up to the iconic stuff. What's that? Yeah. You, want, you wanted a Patamon? Too bad, here's Sukaimon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, like, it's, you it's, know... It's like Patamon, but edgy. Yeah, and better. And I love it, because it teaches you friendly fire in Digimon World 2. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all you need to instant confuse everything on the field, actually. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Epic friendly fire at those busted crap, it's so good. <laughs> well, I say that in a game with duo scissor claws. <laughs> which is just stackable defense down on all targets, and an AoE attack. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty busted. Um, like, Dyar mentioned that's a game where you can get a move called Invisibility. <laughs> it oh. makes it so you cannot be targeted by, like, single target attacks. Amazing. And this is from a relatively easy Digimon to get, too, so you can totally get, like, a team of, like, yo, like, three, like, Dokunamon, I think they're called, of invisibility, and you just have that for all your prior, like, yo, forms after that. Nice. Sorry, every form afterwards or whatever. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was just blood doing the Let's Play of that game. There's a very real idea of, oh, maybe I should just make a team of three Flymon that can just never be hit by anything. <laughs> hey, I mean, hey, if, uh, if you find a winning strategy, go for it. <laughs> yeah, and I decide not to do that because Machine Dramon's cool, though. <laughs> yeah. 
it. I won my effing machine, Dramon. Okay. Yeah. So, episode 12. Yeah. So, Jerry likes Guillemon. Heck yeah, she does. <laughs> And, like, I think the only thing left that really happens is that, like, Romon gets in the big fight and they make up, right? Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, Harpy yeah. One, Harpy One realizes and Renamon goes to fight it. Yeah. Realize being the term for, like, when Digimon goes to the real world. <laughs> yes. And Renamon, Renamon's struggling against Harpy Mon, and, uh... Rika finally shows up, and then Renamon's like, oh, time to show off. It goes, like, it goes into, like, a JoJo flurry uh, rush. Yeah, like, like Renamon's like, getting crap done. Yeah. And it's like, like I... Ren Renamon punches it into the sky and then kicks it to the ground. <laughs> yeah, it, like... And then, uh, and Renamon lands, lands in front of it and starts thinking about, like, oh... I, I'm strong enough without Rika, I don't need her. And like closes her eyes and like is thinking on it and everything. In a really stupid position, because Harpymon gets up and starts attacking. Yeah, like it's implied that Romon's like, you know, basically won. Like, you know, she's like won her away from like defeating the thing or something. And she's like, I wonder, like, do I need to become stronger? You know, is is this really what I'm meant to be? And Harpymon's just like, oh, I'll take you out then! And just does its big wing attack. Yeah. It's like, hey, surprise. Don't, don't turn your... Don't ignore an opponent. But yeah, like, it shows that Ron's conflicted, and, you know, she can do it, but, like, you know... Oh, like, yeah, she does need her partner to keep her focused and stuff, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's... Rika, yeah. Rika's like, oh, Renamon's in trouble and grabs a stick. And she yeah. winds up to Harpymon and stabs it in the back. Yeah, because, like, Rika just left her Digivicing cards at home because she's like, oh, I guess I don't need this anymore. <laughs> but, yeah. Digivice. I think she just left her cards. Uh, no, she did leave her Digivice, actually, I think. Didn't she have her Digivice for the... No, she had it with her for the evolution. Did she? Yeah, because it wouldn't have happened otherwise. Well, eh, no, it would it have, because, like, I'm starting to get the impression that, like, maybe the Digivice doesn't actually Digivolve things in this world. Maybe it's all just, like, you know... Like, maybe you don't actually have to have it with you, because it's all Calamon, right? Uh, anytime the evolution happens, there is a reaction shown from the Digivice. Yeah, but that don't necessarily mean it's, like, you know, in the area. Like, which is weird, but it's like, you know, there's also a thing on, like, I think it was, like, the last sub-episodes where, like, Guillemon digivolves into Kyle mentions that, like, oh yeah, the Digivice has no reading, I can't use cards like this, or something. And it's like, okay, maybe because it's, like, Calavon's power, like, you know, the Digivice, like, desyncs with the Digimon or something, and you can't really use it for a bit? Okay, like, I, I think you're right. Uh, for some reason, I imagined... That uh, Rika had her Digivice, but I'm looking at the scene right now, and no, she doesn't. Yeah, it's like it it's just, a it really happens. yeah, it's a super weird thing, but it's like it does kind of make sense with like you know, like the rules that are being established right now. I think. Yeah. Also, I forgot to mention this, and it's an Impmon brings up, or I think Renamon brings up that without a partner, Digimon can't Digivolve and get stronger, which can't be true, because Ice Devimon was in the episode prior. <laughs> yeah, like, I and think I, they I, mean, like, you know, oh, like, immediately or whatever. <laughs> I guess. It's just, the implication is, like, we can never get stronger without Tamers, and it's like, but Ice Devimon. <laughs> but, like, all these things, but Harpymon, though. Yeah. 
The harpy, I think harpy, harpy mine's an armor digimon. Same with the uh, fly bee mine. <laughs> Just really the weird. Armor, yeah, the armor digimon existing and like fighting them is the weirdest thing, actually. I guess they just found the armor needed to turn into those forms. I guess. <laughs> but yeah, stuff so like, you know, Rimon turns into Cubimon, defeats Harpymon. <laughs> just just get, wrecks yeah. him. Yeah, where, where in the Ice Devimon episode we didn't get the payoff of Cubimon defeating the antagonist, that uh, we actually get it in this one. Yeah. And, and I guess this would be a better place to have, like, the evolution won it. Yeah. Cause, like... Yeah, this would have been a better place for Ren uh, Renamon to finally evolve yeah. for the first time. Like, I hate losing the Dokugamon episode like they're, like, you know, messing with it or anything like that, but, like, this, this feels like, you know, the more natural, like, place for that to happen. This this feels like Arika and Renamon both actually uh, grew as characters. Yeah, and they like they earned the transformation, right? Yeah, because in previous episodes, like like Rika has like a, a realization at the time, but then she immediately backtracks on it, and like I hate Digimon now, and blah blah blah. Yeah, but like as far as I remember. Like, Rika starts opening up a whole lot more from this episode on, and stops yeah. being I feel like that, so uh, I, cold and everything. Yeah, I feel like that does make more sense in, like, you know, the grand scheme of things, too. Because, like, you know, like, Ice Devimon's offer isn't as strong when, like, you know, Romon can go champion, right? Yeah. It's like, oh hey, he's more powerful. It's like, but I already have a champion level. I can surpass you because I know my Digimon can go further. Like, I can do the evolution now. Why would I need you, basically? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the the offer is way more significant if Rinamon can't go champion yet. Yeah, if she can't evolve, then there's like this idea of like, Oh, yo, know, maybe Roman's not the true partner. Maybe there is room for, like, you know, like, quote-unquote, an improvement. <laughs> or whatever, right? Yeah. But this is how we got the episodes, and at yeah. least we got the payoff when it mattered. Yeah, at the end of the day, you know, like, it is fine, you know, it does work. It, it, like, it's just, you know, I feel like it could have been stronger, right? I feel yeah. like that's, like, pretty fair. <laughs> yeah. It would have been better if this was the first time Renamon turned into yeah. QB1. Yes. So, like, uh, anything else we really want to say? Because, like, they reconcile and they're like, Oh, hey, like, why'd you help? And Rika's like, oh, I guess I, you know, couldn't help but, you know, just step in and, like, intervene. And she's like, Yo, why'd you save me back then, Cubion's like, yeah, I guess I can't help it, we're partners. And they yeah, just have that little moment. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're at that stage where they're kind of not fully willing to admit, like, how they feel. Uh, yeah. But, but, but and Takato and Henry are like, oh, we see what's going on, don't worry about it, it it's fine. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're moving away from being Sundere, but they're still in the Dere phase. <laughs> Or is it the soon uh, phase? The soon phase. <laughs> they're still soon, but they're way less dairy now. <laughs> is that right? Ah, no. I don't care. I'm going for it. A little more dairy. A little more dairy, a little less soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you don't like know anything about Japan, like Japanese or whatever, then this conversation is nonsense. <laughs> Well, it also makes absolutely no sense if you don't know what soon, soon and dare mean. Yeah, that's what's getting at. If you if you don't know what soon dare is, just like, you know, it's like your air conditioner. It just hates you, but wants to cool you off, but also hates you. I'll be honest, I don't remember specifically what soon and dare mean. 
I think Gary Gary is like a lucky duffy. Yeah, that makes sense. I think it's like, it's something love. It's like effing cold love or something is like what you're, eh, whatever, it don't matter. Yeah, I don't remember what the words specifically mean, but I do know the term. And that's yeah. how we got out of the Zame fans. That's right, we were fake all along. <laughs> we don't know anything. Oh, we're terrible. <laughs> I was confused by what you just said because it was like out of his anime fans. We do a Digimon podcast, boy. <laughs> yeah, I meant that. The respect of like, oh, we're not anime experts or whatever. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how the world learned the like the people doing a Digimon podcast like anime. <laughs> Wild, huh? Yeah, extremely. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta grind for post-game stuff in Cyber Sleuth. Uh, for a second, I was like, oh, in like Final Fantasy XIV, it's like, wait, no, in Mega Man? No. There was a, um, <clears throat> there's a post-game fight against, uh, Imperial Jermon Paladin mode. Oh, jeez. Yeah, and it, you fight him and two copies of himself. Oh my gosh. It's not as hard as you would think. In fact, I would have beat it pretty easily if not for this gimmick he, still, he does at the end where he does, like, a big party-wide attack and he does it five times in a row and you just have to endure it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> Man. It's like, okay, I guess I need to build a team of data types and just tank it as hard as possible. Yeah. Oh yeah, did I mention the, like, Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode and, like, you know, his, like, prior forms and stuff did finally get into the Digimon card game, the 2020 game. And they, like, actually have such a cool effect, I kind of want to make a green deck now just to see how it works. By the way, they're releasing uh, 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 starter boxes. I yeah, that's can, cool. I think you can pre-order them now, but they're like seventy bucks. Oh, real? Whoa, that much? Yeah, that's kind I, of. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, kind of ridiculous. Yeah, if I remember right, like I remember hearing that it's like. You know, like, the Japanese, like, boosters or whatever were going for, like, really cheap, weirdly enough. Hmm. So, like... Game Star yeah. Game booster? Is that a product? Maybe? Anna. I'm just trying to figure out, see what the price is. I imagine it's, like, you know, the American, like, releases gonna have, like, you know, more stuff in the pack, because they want you to have, like, you know, the full thing. Because I think I did hear it's like, you know, the Japanese packs were like, you know, like, you essentially had to get two to have, like, you know, a full, like, set or whatever. Because, like, you know, they gave you enough cards to do the thing, but, like, you didn't have enough to, like, you know, get an actual build going on or something. Something weird yeah. like that. Yeah, uh, I'll be honest, though, I was thinking of picking it up, if, if not just to support the product... Yeah. But to like have a like a cool physical copy of a thing. Yeah. Like uh, I get, but like I don't have anyone to really play with physically. And I already have tabletop simulator. Yeah. Honestly, I'm way more interested in playing it in a physical format, <laughs> which might be weird, but yeah. Uh, Maybe I'll yeah. buy a box. That's one of those things where it's like, I'd be open to, like, streaming it more and stuff, but, like, you know, like, I don't think I'd, like, really do a stream of it physically because I still have the equipment and stuff like that. Yeah, well, I don't know, tabletop sim might be fine if the person who's, who's making the mod keeps up with it and updates it with the new cards and everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's the big thing, because I remember last time it was, like, pretty updated, 
but like new stuff is coming out and some of them is like some stuff is even like fully translated on like you know like the translation site yet like yeah. it's translated yeah, yeah, enough yeah. that like you know what it is but it's not like you know like on the actual thing you know yeah when we played the uh when we played the tabletop sim version it was uh surprisingly like there was a surprisingly high amount of effort put into it yeah <sighs> yeah i just need to find some way to like you know do an art thing there or whatever so yeah like final thoughts i guess uh pretty good episodes just overall yeah didn't really care as much for the second episode of these three First one's probably the strongest, and the third one's like, alright, yeah, that's pretty good. Episode 11's weird, because it suddenly focuses on Henry for some reason. Yeah, and it's like, it it feels necessary enough, but it's like, you know, I wish it was a bit stronger, you know? I wish there was more to it than just like, oh, I don't want to fight, and this kid's about to die, and he's like, okay, I guess I'll fight now. <laughs> It's, it's just throwing in a, a little episode for another character in the middle of a, like a little arc for yeah. another. Man, you know, like this should have been to make it interesting. Like, what if it's, uh, it's like, oh, Roman's like trying to figure things out, so she's like, all right, maybe I'll like try to fight like Terrier Mar or something. Or, well, I don't know, may not. Now that I'm yeah. saying it, it doesn't really sound right. But yeah, like, Anna, could have probably been stronger. Like, I'm sure Henry's gonna get better stuff later on. Yeah. Cause, uh, like, really, Rika's got the best material so far, it feels like. Honestly, it makes sense, because she seems like the character who needs the most development. Yeah, while, well, like, Henry's just, you know, he's got his arc, but he's kind of, like, going through it pretty normally. And, like, Takato's just sort of, like, you know, shown in, like, you know, effing, like, I need to learn not to be so arrogant protagonist kid. Yeah, well, their issues are, like, a non- they're not a non-issue, but, like, they're less of a problem, whereas when they met Rika, she was outright hostile to them. Yeah. Which is- and I guess it is kind of a bit of a shame, isn't it? Because, like- when Henry's introduced, like, his whole problem seemed way more interesting. When it's like, oh, he actually can't control his Digimon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we'll get the development for Takato and Henry later. Yeah. Uh, Ask how I wish they stuck with, like, oh yeah, like, whatever, like, Galgamar, sorry, sorry, not Galgamon, whatever Gargamon comes out, like, it's just uncontrollable and just shoots everywhere and stuff. And, like, I wish they kind of had to work on that a bit more and stuff, like, you know, like the whole pacifism thing, you know? Yeah, the, the uncontrollable Gargamon thing seems to have gone away after the first episode it was introduced. Yeah. Which, I um, guess it makes sense, because, like, you know, Terriermon's not, like, a madman, but still... <laughs> You could chalk it up to Terrier Mods not used to evolving, but overall it doesn't take a Digimon long to get used to its new power. Yeah. It's Terriermon got hit with it all of a sudden it wasn't ready. Yeah. I, I, I can think of some excuses as for why that happened. So yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, one last thing specifically to mention to you. Not about Digimon, uh, but did you see that the next Smash Fighter will be revealed tomorrow? Yup. Alright, just, just wondering. I'm... I don't know what's gonna be. It's probably gonna be disappointing. <laughs> yeah. There was... there was rumors... To, of course there were. There's like a screenshot with like a like a Doom enemy as a me costume, so people are speculating Doom Guy. People have been speculating yeah. Doom Guy forever. I like uh, I would Crash Crash Bandicoot 4 comes out tomorrow as well. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it was just like, you know, more Nintendo picks. 
It could like, be. I think they're, like, done with, like, you know, like, third-party picks for a bit, you know? <laughs> so it's Ooh. like... I'm trying to think who it could be, then. People are speculating it could be a Gen 8 Pokemon rep. Yeah, that's that would make a lot of sense, actually. Because, <laughs> like... I'm fine, fine that if it's Obstagoon or Toxtricity. Yeah. Well, it's probably gonna be, like, one of the main three, honestly. So it's, like, it's probably gonna be the, like, fire type or where it's probably not gonna be, like, a Scorbunny or something. But, like, it might be an Inteleon, you know, it might be a Grookey or some of his forms. Man. Now that you bring it up, yeah, it probably would be a starter, wouldn't it? Obstagoon and Toxtricity are way cooler than the starters. Yeah. Like, there's a non-zero chance it might be Meowth or something just for the sake of it. Nah, it'll be a Gen 8. Like... Assuming it's a Pokemon at all. Yeah. There's also, People. like, a non-zero chance it might be, like, Kid Icarus or something, because, like, there's a lot of stuff in that that could, like, you know, make for some good characters. And there was a there was a teaser that somebody made uh, where a, a theoretical like Hades reveal. <laughs> have you have you seen the have you seen how Hades shows up in in uh, Uprising? Yes, it's the best. Yeah, so it's like the end of the Smash Direct, and it's like thank you for watching, and then like the Smash Direct is is uh, fading out, and you hear like hold up in the background. Yeah. And all of a sudden, there, and all of a sudden, there's like a scratch through the Nintendo Switch logo, and it's Hades doing the credit scene thing, and it's like, <laughs> oh! yeah, oh, that'd be so good. <laughs> like, I don't know how I, you, I don't know how you do Hades though. You have to shrink him down, and then he, like, uh, people said that Ridley being too big and shrinking down would look weird, but he's fine. Yeah, I don't know how that would work with Hades. Like I, a human-sized Hades would be weird. I think it would make a bit more sense for Hades, weirdly enough, because, like, he's a god, right? He can just do anything. Sure, but you never see, like, I guess it just comes down to you never see Hades, uh, like, human-sized. He's always a giant. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Watch I it be like the Dark Fire Emblem. <laughs> Uh, that's that's the only thing I don't want it to be. Uh, well, that and like Minecraft Steve or like a Fortnite man. Yeah, I, I feel like that's the like trifecta of evil right now. Yeah, <laughs> this I, Minecraft Steve, Fortnite man, and then like Fire Emblem rap. I think Gino is boring, but I don't I don't think I would care too much if it was Gino. Watch, like, it's Gino, and, like, the reaction is just to the crap is this, and people get angry. <laughs> no, no, people be super excited, and everyone will love it. The and I'll people... just be like, I'll just be like, oh, okay. <laughs> the people doing the memes would be excited, but everyone else would be like, who even? No, I, I feel like even through, uh, even though Gino's from an older game, I think at this point... Uh, people want to give him smash. <laughs> give uh, us Bobbery, you cowards. Give us Bobbery. Give us Paper Mario and he fights with his allies. His, uh, his partners. Yeah. Give us Epic like Vivian. Yeah, well, I don't know. Vivian might be a bit tricky, actually. Because <laughs> she has to always be stuck to the floor. Ma Paper Mario as a fighter could have his different specials be his different partners. Yeah. You have to be like on the ground to use Vivian. <laughs> Vivian could come out and throw fireballs or something. Yeah. Well Vivian would be like, you know, like the whole like she pulls you underground thing, right? So it'd be she like could. limited time like absolute evasion. <laughs> or or she could just come out and do that for like his evade move. Yeah. Like when you shield move. <laughs> Like, I have to imagine, like, when you do the actual, like, spot dodge, he has to do, like, you know, the move where he, like, spins around you when you do the parry. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Uh, that's way more effort than they're ever going to put into a character. I, I, 
I say that, but there's pretty impressive inclusions of characters from other stuff. Yeah. Uh, we just get, like, Sans, but for real. <laughs> Nintendo as they are, they would put in Paper Mario, but then it would be uh, with his abilities from everything but Thousand Year Door and the first one. It would be the Color Splash Paper Mario. Color Splash Sticker Star Origami King. Yeah. It, it would, let's be real, it would be probably just Origami King Paper Mario. Ah, oh, that, that hurts so much. Uh, but it's their newest game, so that's the one they would put in. You, like, they try to make jokes around, like, oh, you do the Final Smash and you have to turn the screen to line up the enemies or whatever. Uh, yeah. No, it's... The final smashes are all automatic now, and that wouldn't happen. <laughs> like, you just kinda, bring them I, to I, the I, arena I, and he turns them. I kinda miss transformation smashes. Yeah. For Sonic is more fun when you can control it. <laughs> like, honestly, at the end of the day, like, they probably should have went harder on, like, just foul smashes being a cinematic. Because, like, Peach and Daisy's Foul Smash ruins everything. <laughs> Just because they're the same thing. Because it's too strong. Because it's like, yo, know, you do it, and it's like, oh, every enemy in the area is just instantly stunned, and you get all your health back. Yeah, and if you use it while somebody's above a pit, they just fall to their death. They just die, there's no way out of it. <laughs> yeah, because you can fall asleep midair. <laughs> Man. Like, what if it's, like, another arms wrap? Uh, that, I don't think that would happen. I really doubt too, but what if, though? Uh, the people would be upset. And I, I would say rightfully so. Yeah. Man, you know what, like, goes Gruntilda. No. Nah. Banjo's. Banjo was too recent, and it's also probably kind of a miracle we got Banjo at all. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get a villain rep from Banjo Kazooie. Oh man, you're right. Oh, like who else could even? Yeah. I don't think we've gotten villains from third-party stuff, have we? I don't think we have. Just a shame because unless... Sephiroth would be a great addition. Yeah, unless we count K. Rule. <laughs> but K. Rule existed on Nintendo consoles, so I don't really. Yeah. <laughs> K. Rool might as well be a Nintendo character. <laughs> so, like, what are the three things we want to be? Because, like, we have, like, effing Hades, and, like, I've mentioned Sephiroth. <laughs> uh, I... I don't think Sephiroth would fit. He really wouldn't, but, like, dang it, it would be cool. It is so stupidly long, they would have to find ways to not use it. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, um, there's ways in, like, you know, the material, right? Because it's like, you know, like, he doesn't really use it in, like, seven that much, but in everything outside of that, he just, like, he swings his sword and it creates a little, like, area of slashes in front of him. Yeah, it'd be like, it'd be like putting Virgil in the game. Yeah, it'd be um, like, you know, like, Dissidia or something. You know what goes Dante, you cowards? Yeah, that's one of my top picks. <laughs> Don, uh, Dante, Wonder Red, uh, <laughs> and uh, either Reimu from Toho or <laughs> Agumon. Yeah, screw it. Just put Agumon in Smash. It, Digimon existed yes. as a game or it existed as anything else. Yeah, this is true. This is true. Digimon should qualify. You know what? Put Gilmon in. Huh? Put Gilmon in. Uh, if it's if it's gonna be anyone, it's gonna be Agumon. Yeah, it's true. But the, honestly, Digimon's probably not gonna happen. I would love to see Agumon just yeah. be on the Smash roster and just be like, oh, I loved it. So here's what uh, I'm thinking. So hear me out for a second. All right. You have option cards. Those are your specials, so you have, like, white wings for your recovery, because of course. And you have, like, you know, neutrals like Pyro Spear, you have, like, you know, a thing like Speed Up as, like, Down Beat, it's like, you know, a boost that makes you run faster or whatever. Yeah. 
in, I don't know, maybe like Rock Breaker or something as like a side special or something weird like that. Rock I don't know, there's, Breaker, there's stuff you do. Rock Breaker would be like a side smash or like his neutral attacks. Yeah, and you have like, you know, you have a character that's like, you know, well designed up that they like animate and actually have cool attacks and things like that, you know. You have like just side smashes, like big fireball, like Ridley or whatever, like a big explosion. You have like, you know, down smashes, does a little like tail sweep, <laughs> just hits both sides. Have like big claw up, you know, like, it, yeah, it's easy, yo. Know? In Foul so Smash, the, you bring out Gallimon. So the, the least interesting thing about a Digimon rep is their attacks. And the more interesting thing is how do you do evolution? Because yeah. it's such a it's such a big part of Digimon. Do you just fight as your rookie form the whole time and then turn into mega form for the final smash? Or do you implement evolution into the moveset somehow? So, think of that, there's one way around this. And that's mm. like, alright, give Greymon the same rig as Agumon and like the same animations, but just make them bigger. What a metal Greymon. I don't think you could, like, make him work, because it'd be a bit too different, but, like, you know, you could do the first two forms and you get, like, you know, like, War Greymaw's the Final Smash. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, that'd be good. Might work. I would, I would, ideally, I would like to see the Digimon uh, go through all of its forms, and then and their Mega Form is their Final Smash. Or maybe somehow implement that as being playable because you would. I don't know about you, but I would just want to play as the mega form. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to think of this from like a practical perspective, right? Of like, yo, well, we can't like include every form because like all the animations would be too different. But like, I don't know, maybe they could make something work. Yeah, if we went rookie. Champion, Ultimate, Mega, and had all of them playable. That's four separate characters, each with their own uh, move sets. Yeah, like maybe you could borrow some stuff from like some of the things and make that work out, but it'd be like really complicated and probably not worth it. Yeah. Honestly, like probably best way to handle that would be just like yo, know, Infamon slash Beelzemon. Because, like, then you only have to do two forms, and it's still a recognizable character. Well, that's that's because Impmon and Beelzemon, like... <sighs> Impmon and the forms in between... Uh, the forms in between Impmon to Beelzemon don't matter. Yeah. You know, I guess, like, technically you could do that with, like, our Digimon picks too, couldn't you? Where it's like, you know, just Rookie and Mega and then it's done. Yeah. I mean, would still, yeah. Would still want to, uh, it, it, Nintendo would make it work, I think. I, I'd have but. trusted them to make our impossible demand a reality. It's never gonna happen. Yeah. But yeah, uh, it's like realistic picks. I think. I, I think Crash is actually kind of realistic as a pick. Especially considering, like, he's got a new game coming out on the same day. Uh, Crash, in general, has gotten, like, a resurgence as of late. Yeah. As of re such. I'm uh, trying to I, think. Uh, it's like, okay, you have the slide, you have, like, you know, the high jump, so you could, like, maybe you have a thing where it's like, oh, you can slide off stage and do the high jump as, like, a recovery move, and it's a thing. Like, you could do the... You could do the... the well, Crash already gets a double jump. Uh, yeah. You get to, get to uh, work the Death Tornado spit into like a, a move that gives you uh, air time. Mm. Uh, for, or it gives you height and not yeah. just air time. Oh, there's there's the fruit can. There's there's some weird stuff you can do with Crash. Fruit Bazooka. This, this, smash, uh, uh, this final smash would be uh, turning invincible with Aku Aku. He just runs around the stage. Waluigi number one! No. So, like, legit question. How do we feel about, like, you know, maybe they pick a Street Fighter rap? They have two already. 
Yeah, but like, you know, every Street Fighter character does play Cap differently, and this is like a weird playstyle they've created for him. So like, you know, if you made him Bison, like, you could make that work and feel unique from like Ken and Ryu. I have very, very little attachment to Street Fighter, so I wouldn't care to see it, honestly. Yeah, if oh, they that's just... why you said that Baron actually. <laughs> 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 like, if they just throw out Zangief, then, like, I could see it. I could see a grappler. Uh, uh, that might be cool. But like I said, I don't have any attachment to freaking. You know what? I'll accept Waluigi as a character, but he has to be, like, the weirdo character that's less wall like it's waluigi but more so it's a representation of like mario sports games yes so he has like yo he has the tennis racket he's got like yo know, like soccer balls and stuff yeah all of his moves are centered around like gimmicks uh, maybe not gimmicks but like he fights yeah. his sports equipment and like i don't know it like runs you over with a mario kart for your first final smash yeah, he, like, runs you over, he, like, throws the rose at you or has it in his mouth or something as he turns back. Yeah. Like, yeah, I um, can see that, yeah. Otherwise, I... I... Waluigi's such a nothing character. <laughs> if he's a representative of all the Mario Sports games, then fine. Yeah, that'd be perfect, I think. <laughs> I'm trying to think, like, is there anywhere else we really want to go with this discussion? <laughs> uh... Major picks that I want to see probably won't happen. Yeah, but that's hey, fair. This is semi-realistic. Uh, Dante, Wonder Red. I think Wonder Red has a higher chance than Dante, but hey. Uh... Uh, that's it, really. Yeah. Uh, let me think. Dante for sure. Uh, I, no, I don't think it'd work with Mega Man pick in there. I don't think that would like quite work out. Put Tron in there. Yeah, yeah, I'd be okay with Tron. That'd be an Actually, interesting one. Lifter from Marvel vs. Capcom, the weird little robot. Yeah, I'm not sure. If supposed to be the Gustav or a different robot, but it works. It's supposed to be a different rod, I think, but it's like, it's, you know, in theme enough that it's, like, fine. And nothing like, I don't know, what else would be, like, realistic? Like, you know what, I would say Magnus. Magnus is a good pick from, like, Kid Icarus. Yeah, although people complain that he's just another sword user. Yeah, and I feel like Magnus is enough unique about him that they can make that work. I, I, I think Hades is my top Kid Icarus pick, because we don't really... I don't consider Dark Pit a villain. Yeah. We don't have a villain rep. Yeah, well, Vreedy, because she does have the scythe and, like, the nature stuff. Does she fight? Uh, she doesn't fight. Is, yeah. is that a scythe? I thought it was like a, just like a staff. Yeah, it's like a weird staff scythe, like, but it does have a blade on the end. And Verini could fight with nature and stuff, but even then, I wouldn't consider her a villain. Yeah. By the end of the game, she's working with you. Yeah, I could see it working, though. You know, I think that'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> and Sakurai gets to show off all the Verini guidance quotes that they make for the character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like half like the trailer is just quotes. Well, if they just get just get the guy who voices Hades to come on and like do his own introduction, oh, that'd be good. That'd be so fitting. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd love to see Hades as the villain rep for Kid Icarus. Man, who would like who would be the Nintendo rep you would least want to see? Right, the one I'd least want to see, Gino. Waluigi. <laughs> but Waluigi number one! Uh, who actually... Well, I mean, I don't really 
Yeah, like, the, like, worst, most likely option, I guess I'd say. Absolute worst. I don't... I don't know if we're talking strictly Nintendo reps. Uh, I mean, I guess if Fire Emblem counts, I don't want to see another Fire Emblem character. So it's all just, Fire Emblem. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of sick of seeing Fire Emblem reps in general. Uh, Pokemon has so many reps already, but I, I wouldn't mind it if it's a cool Pokemon from Gen 8. Hmm. Uh, what? Hmm. You know, and I'm thinking maybe, like, you know... Well, no, I can't say Pikachu, because we got Pikachu Libra in the game. We have all the Pikachus. There are no all more the... Pikachus. You could get, like, one of the Pikachu knockoffs. <laughs> this Gen... Gen 8 totally has a Pikachu knockoff. Yeah. It's like the... It's... The, the the hamster. I'm trying to have, like one be like realistic, but also would be like really stupid. <laughs> it's like eh, I don't know a thing like you know, let's say like Palico or something. Palico would be dumb. Like, yeah, because it would people would be happy to have the monster hunter rep but people would also rather just see the monster hunter yeah that'd be like you know a big thing of like okay yeah like they're in the right direction but they went the wrong way with it and it, like be, yeah people, people would want to see the monster hunter as like it's just a human in rathalos gear yes like i could totally see them doing that and just missing the mark yeah Alright, so think we're, like, wrapping up then. <laughs> yeah, that's all I've got to say. Alright, yeah, I, th I think we've won long enough. All so, right. yeah, see you guys around next time. <laughs> Later. Later.